what's the usual management here for Spain management? Morphine sulfate. What else? Hydration. Remember, the very reason why you have these precipitates are what? Are dehydration. So fluids tayo. In fact, this is the primary management. Hydrating your urine in order for you not to precipitate uh, stones. In other words, this is also prevention at the same time. Uh, you know, preventive management. What else? Antibiotics, if it's what? If it's an infectious stone or struvite stone. Let's just say, right? Struvite stone. What else? Morphine antibiotics reduce stone by what? And to ha? This is potassium citrate by giving your potassium citrate. Remember, potassium citrate. What else are the other management? To pass the stone, of course, you need to have medications such as what? Your finasteride, your Flomax, brand name for Flomax, and your tamsolosin. Finasteride and your tamsolosin medications to pass the stone in your urine. And of course, stents, right? Basic procedure, putting stents through your what? Apart from your ESWL, lithotripsy. Extra corporeal shock wave lithotripsy. Again, ESWL stands for what? Extra corporeal shock wave lithotripsy. Uh, in your ESWL, they will put stents apart from this ESWL. So basically, what's this? Shock wave. Putting more shock waves to your what? To your flank area. To what? To dissolve or to break down the stones. No? It's too large. Ano yung size natin? What's the size? Five or more. You cannot easily pass more than five millimeters. You cannot easily pass that out. That's why they will break down using your what? Your shock wave. The nursing intervention here is what? Bruising is just normal. And click step, huh? Bruising is normal because you know this is shock wave. I'll show you the picture later on. What about bleeding in the urine? Hematuria is normal 24 hours. A okay. patient might even have clots there. But it's normal in 24 hours. Again, normal in 24 hours. That's hematuria. Bright red uh, urine. And since I told you about stents, they will put some stents in there. So stents are usually removed. They will actually complain of pain a little bit. But again, it can be managed by morphine. The stents can be removed after two to three weeks. If this is your ureter, for example, they will put something like a stent, ureteral stent, to distend this ureter. So as the stones after ESWL, will pass through, will easily pass through your ureter and then for micturation for your urine. What are the other things here in your nursing and intervention? Morphine ha, pain management. Don't forget that one. Again, morphine is narcotics, remember. They will really ask for pain. What else? One to two weeks? Yes, it can be removed. Sometimes it can be removed up to three weeks. So let's just say one to three weeks class. But three weeks is really ano, long na siya. Like one to two weeks is okay. Thank you for raising that one. But again, as early as one week, average of two weeks, three weeks is too long. But uh, they can also remove after three weeks. Any question? Again, ha, don't forget this. And flex tip to siya.